The defending national champions get going against San Jose State, but they're going to have to do it without the defending Heisman Trophy winner. Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you right here on CBSSports.com to break down number one Alabama and the Spartans. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to, uh, to get into this. And obviously, Spencer, the story into the weekend, not so much about the game itself. Alabama is expected to roll uh, against San Jose State, but about Mark Ingram. The arthroscopic surgery on Tuesday, Nick Saban's calling it a week-to-week -week situation. Just how big of a situation is this for the Crimson Tide? I can tell you this is more of a big situation for the folks on the outside than it is internally. I mean, we had a word back in Oklahoma when we had a stable of running backs. It was running back university. We called it next. When a guy went down, the next guy just stepped up. And I believe that Trent Richardson uh, is a better pure runner than Mark Ingram. I know I catch a lot of grief for that, but that's what I see in terms of just purely running the football. Uh, so they're going to be fine there. I think Nick Saban always takes a protracted look at these things, and uh, it's not about your, your guy that's down, it's about the guys that are on the field that are playing. So, yeah, it's an issue to the folks outside, but the folks inside, it's all about the guys lining up on the field. Well, he had to do that last year with the defense uh, from time to time as well with some injuries there. It's the defending national champion, Spence, so it's a game against San Jose State. What should we be looking for? What should people want to see out of this team in, in week one? Well, San Jose State start from scratch. They, they don't you know, do anything particularly well. They don't run. They don't stop the run. They don't do anything well. So what you do if you're Nick Saban is you go in and say, well, what do we do? What are we asking you to do assignment-wise, particularly on the defensive side of the ball where you've got nine starters, that you're, nine starters you're trying to replace? As long as everybody is on time, uh, in their respective areas as far as their assignments are concerned, playing fast and not making mental mistakes, which is an indicator of how much a guy is focusing, I think they're going to be fine. So that's what you're looking for, particularly, again, with so much turnover on the defensive side of the ball. The strength for Alabama is on the offensive side, so I think they'll be stable there. But that's what I'm looking for if I'm Nick Saban. All right, so on the offensive side of the ball, what are you looking to uh, in terms of the kinks to, to try and get rid of in this game with Penn State coming to town next week? Well, you're looking at your timing, your execution. Alabama runs the football, and it's going to be Trent Richardson. How well does he read? You know, uh, I don't say that there's a contrasting style between he and Ingram. The system dictates that you read and react in a similar fashion. It's what you do after you break that secondary level. Uh, and I think that Trent is a better runner once he gets there. Uh, most of the returning starters are back on that offensive line. That's the strength of this unit. So, again, the continuity is what you're looking for. And, again, because it's offense, which is always going to take longer, you're looking to see if everybody's crisp to kind of get a good gauge of uh, how successful you're going to be as an offensive unit early. And maybe rely a little bit more on Greg McElroy, who uh, you bet. was fantastic in the national championship game against Texas. Spencer Tillman, thank you very much. Uh, we'll break down Alabama and Penn State next week. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, keep it right here with CBSSports.com. For Spencer Gentleman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.